And that's it, that's it. It's the Kenyans have beaten the Sri Lankans. In 2003, the national Kenyan cricket team surprised fans and critics alike by reaching the semi-finals of the ICC World Cup. That stellar performance was not a fluke, but the result of long-term preparations. This team, which took us to 2003, was together for more than 10 years. Thereafter, the team was plagued by numerous challenges, including the banning of a high-profile player in Maurice Odumbe, player strikes and leadership wrangles. In addition, the ICC introduced a future test program, which saw the top 10 teams, also known as the Test Nations, plan their calendars for the next 10 years. This calendar did not include teams like Kenya, making it harder for them to get quality matches. Today when you call, people are asking you, you must pay us for you to be able to come here. And without the resources, then fewer trips are being made. Two years ago, lawyer Jackie Jan Mohamed took the reins of the federation. The wrangle ceased and there have been no player strikes during her reign. The first short-term goals would be to make sure that the under-19 team and the Kenya team qualify for the next World Cup in 2015. However, with the team's declining performance, Tikolo feels that she is not to blame. This lady is uh, very passionate about the game. She started watching the game when she was three years old. She's umpired in this country. She's traveled the world to watch cricket at her own expense. With yesterday's results, the team now seems set to lose its one-day international status, meaning they will not be able to easily play quality teams, plus their funding may decrease. But the ICC may have a lifeline close by. ICC last night came back and said they are now restructuring the whole thing to see how they are going to place this. So chances are that we might still remain as ODI. Chances are that we are going to be out. Interestingly, three of the team's current players, Lame Konyango, Steve Ticolo and Thomas Odoyo, are in their late 30s, early 40s. And yet, they are the best the team has. The government has been charged to get more involved in player recruitment and development of younger players. That's gone.